Welcome back guys, I'm MJ Haggis and this is my let's play of SnowRunner. Right, as you can see, we are back actually at the garage, I'm at the trailer store, and this is my as of 7... Uh, 7... 2... 7, 3, 2, 1, 0? But this is the Kikimore mod. It is linked below in the co in the description. So if you if you're interested in this after you've seen it, if you haven't already seen it, then this is a great mod. It's um, probably more than capable for virtually everything you'll do. It's not overpowered, but it's certainly more powered than your average truck. I like it. It's got a raised front, which is the vanilla one. Doesn't quite get so high, so the, the nose, because it's so far over the front axle, does tend to catch on things. But this one, not so much. And that's because, if I change the suspension mode... Oh, yeah. Right up in the air. Look at that clearance. It's massive. Right, so, anyway, I digress. The reason I've got this out, it's got three slots, and I've got a three-slot trailer. This is another mod trailer. The mod is also linked below. I've never used it before, but it does take three. And the reason we're going this, we're going to go and get these metal rolls that I kind of left behind in the landscape. On the map, we're going to go all the way north, and there they are there. We have to go and pick them up. I'm going to pick up all six. That's why I need the six slots. I'm not doing any double stacking, you'll be pleased to know. But we're going to take them down to the roll steel factory all the way down here and we're going to create a cabin there's one roll there already but we need sorry not a cabin a cargo container and we need at least two i think it's two metal rolls per cabin we're just going to create one and leave the rest of the rolls there for anything else we, we need in the future and then we're going to go back north and pick up the wooden planks are dropped in the ground here and create our cabins and then we'll also use the kikimor and the trailer to pick up the two other um i don't know if you can if i can click on them there, there's two other cabins in here i'm gonna pull them out there they are. so we've got two of them there we're gonna use that's where we're at guys let's hope it goes better than the last couple of episodes because they've been pretty bad sun is beautiful up and very very bright. So, let's go and get some metal rolls. If I can start the engine. There we go. And off we go. It's been a while since I have used a trailer that is not involving a low saddle. So, again, using the old dolly hitches, it's been a while. Nice to mix it up again, a little bit, you know? And this, this mod, I haven't used this guy in ages. I don't think I actually used them in the whole time that we were in the glades, in Belarzersk glades. So, nice to bring him out. I did feel that this guy would have been a little bit overpowering for that kind of map. It was just, it would have been too easy. But I like him, he's just so capable, and with the rear wheel steering, he turns on a dime. This set of tyres, the only thing I changed from the last lot was he's got the studded tyres. I want to see how this guy handles it. Should be no problem. Yeah, like a boss. Permanent all-wheel drive, permanent diff lock, nice and easy. Roof rack carries quite a bit, actually. I think it's four tyres. Quite a bit of fuel, and he is fairly fuel efficient. So, if it's a mod that you like, yeah, get it, it's linked below. Mr. Buses did this one, and his mods are generally really, really good. What I like about this one, I used one of his other mods, which was the, I think it was a Paystar, and it, it had a funny name, I can't remember what it's called. I did use it briefly, but I, I found when I was driving along in high ratio, it was crazy fast, too fast for me. I couldn't, I couldn't drive it without crashing. But this one, when you're in high ratio, like I am now, that's a comfortable speed. You know, you, you don't feel like you're going to be missing things on the road or rocks and stuff. You, you, you've got time to react. I like it. I like this mod an awful lot. But there's my two cabins in there, in the background. We will be back for them. 
this thing just turns so nice. It's, a, it's not too quick turning either. You don't feel like you're um, turning into things too early. It's just really nicely balanced. And it's powerful as well. This should have no problems getting up the hills with a trailer full of metal rolls, I hope. I hope I'm not singing its praises too much and I show it right up by crashing all the time. Which is highly likely, actually. But I'm hoping not. I, I, I don't want to be doing any rescuing in this episode. I want a normal episode. Ooh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Am I supposed to be going up there? I haven't seen any waypoints. Oh, yes, I am. I'm glad I did that. I threw out the anchors there. So we're going back the way... Basically, the way we came from the last one. I can't remember exactly how easy it was to skip through there. That's all we need. In fact, I probably didn't even need those waypoints. Right, quick test. Can we lock the trailer? We can. Bort, there, if you haven't seen... Uh, I mentioned it in a, a much earlier episode. Bort seems to lower the back of the trailer. Let's see if it does it again. Oh, it does. How nice is that? Don't know why I'll ever need it, but it's nice. I like that feature. But we're going to lock the dolly, so making reversing a whole lot easier. Dolly reversing in, is, is difficult. Look how easy that is. Unlock the dolly. And we are good to go. I do like that modern trailers. Most people would probably prefer the low saddle and the normal trailer for reversing because it is a lot easier. But having this locked dolly on a dolly trailer like so, it makes it much more desirable. I'm chewing up the ground there. It's going to stay in low ratio for a wee while. It's quite muddy. Try again now. Yeah, it's a bit faster. You know, this mod, this mod comes with a whole range of monster truck style tires and stuff, but I didn't want to use them just because I do think it's a bit over overpowered. So they're kind of like pretty much in line with the body. So there's the monster ones, which will stick much further out. 53 inch I believe these ones are so as big as you can get but just narrower so I do have to be more aware of tipping over I don't want to make it too easy it has been mentioned in the comments I, I was it Steve I think it could have been Steve Williams I, I, I can't remember the name but I just remember just recently just it might have been yesterday I saw the comment regarding using the Kiki more and I replied saying, yeah, I already use them. It's really, really good. Which kind of like jogged my memory about maybe bringing them out for right now. Look at that, straight up the hill. Absolutely no problems. And that's what I'm liking. Nice little house. What a view that guy has got. Okay, it's shame about the, the pylon and the wires right in front of his view, but hey, you know. Pros and cons, I'm digging into the mud. This guy's chewing up the snow. Gonna be going down there, okay. Kinda makes you wanna throw on the skis and get down there by old-fashioned skis or snowboard if that was your thing I kind of do both because that's the only thing with using these kind of trailers is you do feel like you're, you're definitely pulling something it's not quite a dead weight that one seems to be moving quite nicely the vanilla trailers were like pulling an anchor through the through the mud. There's my little metal rolls. Oh, there they are. 
Yeah, they were very defiant. They didn't want to do anything for me, except for escape the trailer. Okay. How do we get all of these? So we go around the truck. I need to get turned and back up the hill. So let's find somewhere to turn. Ooh. Now, for those that actually do know about the Kiki more, it does have an autonomous winch if you want it. Oh, that was that tree. Let's try the other one. Just I don't want to tip over. Not yet. Or at all. Um, I took the autonomous winch off because I felt it was a little bit too much. So I've got the advanced winch. Nothing spectacular. That's just vanilla. I think we can get turned here, maybe. This thing's got a good turning circle. Which we should. Should manage it. Drag that trailer over a wee bit. Whoop. I was going to look for a winch point to pull the trailer around, but there doesn't seem to be anything too nearby. Oh, don't go over. Go on, kick him around you go. You need to flatten a tree, flatten a tree. There we go. Go on, turn, 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 turn. I suppose that's the only thing with this trailer. It's putting a lot of weight in the back, so the front tires are not getting the same grip and therefore not turning. Because if I didn't have that in the back, that trailer, I would have probably turned a lot easier. But anyway, we're, we're here. Hey, what if I parked this like this? Push my way through the steel rolls so the crane can reach them all. That's a that's a jaunty angle, if ever there was. I'm not so keen on that. They're all kind of where I need to be. Let's kind of square up the hill. I'll give this a go. Anchors out. And crane. I'm not going to bore you. I'm going to get a couple loaded, and then I'll just do the rest by a quick jump cut. Have I actually... No, I connected one. Okay, well, if that's the one that wants to do it. Okay, I released it for some reason. Come here. Get up. Right, I'll start with putting these into the trailer so I know how long the KRS Bandit crane can go. That's looking good. It's so hard to gauge without 3D, you know, the perspective of distance. Is that in? I might be in. Ooh. So maybe that's actually a really good length trailer than the three slots. Especially since the crane does reach to the back of it. Grab that one, right. So basically I'm just going to load them up and then I'll get them all packed in a one -er. This is no problem at all. Feels like I could get even more into that trailer. But anyway, right guys, I'm going to do a jump cut here. I'm going to get loaded up and then we'll get on our way to getting some cargo containers constructed. So I'll see you in a sec. Okay. How good is that? That was really straightforward. I'm not going to jinx myself just yet, although I might have. I need to back it down the hill carefully. Okay, we're down the hill. Don't tip over trailer. Don't tip over Kiki more. But this little valley thing here seems to be there's no level the, the wheels on one side will tip over which caught me out the last time but I'm feeling a little bit more confident in the Kiki more actually see that's kind of level why did the other one tip over so easily I mean the trailer's starting to tip over is it there must have been that's quite an angle I suppose especially when you're double stacked 
Okay. We are good. Definitely feeling more optimistic now. I should probably learn that lesson about double stacking, especially with that amount. Because that was effectively 12 loads. Yeah. There's not... I don't think this game was really designed for you moving 12 lots of cargo in one go. What I like about this trailer, it's got proper... It looks like they've given it proper off-road tyres instead of what looks like little highway tyres. Big chunky. Excellent. Anyway, up the hell we go. Let's just cut that corner. Can we get into high ratio? Yes, we can. Oh, yeah. That must be something like Super Mud there. Or maybe one level down from Super Mud. It's pre pretty... Pretty sticky stuff there. We've got still 250 odd litres of fuel, so that's not a concern. I do like this mod. You just feel like you could probably do most of the game with this, which is kind of like it's... You feel a bit sorry then for the other mods. And they're not just mods, but the vanilla trucks. I like to use the vanilla ones where I can, as you probably already know. I want to get everybody a fair crack at it. Even if it makes my game harder. Is this the right way? Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. It just looked... It looked different there. That tree, yeah, I did come across that tree that was in the way. Somehow we managed to go to full height in the middle of the road. It was going to get a chainsawing, wasn't it? Make some nice firewood. Yeah, what an awesome mod. Off to the Roll Steel Factory. Once we get to the main road, that should be absolutely no problem. We'll storm our way down the hill. Drop off, so we're going to have seven steel, um, seven metal rolls, and we're going to just use hopefully just two of them. So we'll have five extras for whatever we need to craft in the future. I suspect we will be doing more crafting. Otherwise, this is a complete waste of time if I'm just carrying them down. I've got no more use for metal rolls. Easy peasy. And you're probably asking, why didn't you do that originally? Yeah, good question. Mainly because I do like to use other mods. The Royal BM-17 mod, the is it GBE, and the Azov, the other Azov mod that I've been using, I believe, that, I think that's also JBE. It's just, I haven't, they were new to me, so that's why I was using a little bit more than average. Oops. Trailer's making a bid for freedom, stay with me, trailer. Ain't no problem. But maybe, maybe now that I have showed off those other trucks sufficiently to, to let you know if you want to download them and try them, that I might just go back to using this guy a little bit more. 
And again, if there's other mods out there that you guys use that I haven't used, and you want me to show them off, or give them a go, maybe not show them off, because I'll probably make a, a hash of it, but um, if you want to give me a link to them, I'm more than willing to, to give them a crack. But they have to be fairly uh, realistic, not crazy overpowered, because I've seen some of the mods on the, the Snowrunner website and they are just insane. Like, huge with like crazy amounts of wheels and probably so much power you could stop the earth from spinning. Suspension damage here. Yes. Nice. That was just so nice and easy. Okay, time to unload. Awesome. Cargo container. Yeah, oh, it is only two, so I was right. We'll have one of those, please. And we'll take it away. I mean, I could create more, but I don't want to use up the metal rolls just in case I need to use them. So we'll take that, thank you. Let's get on our merry way and craft our cabin. Not going to bother about fuel from that maintenance trailer. I'll get fuel from the actual fuel trailer up at the junction. And I'll probably... See, I, uh, so you know the question, we need three cabins. And unfortunately, I can't get two into that trailer. I can only get one. I'm going to have to do a second trip. I'm not double stacking. Don't worry. Maybe if I was uh, not recording and trying to make content for you guys, I would attempt to double stack at the cabins, but no. We'll get one loaded into the trailer and I'll come back from the last one. I'll maybe leave this this dolly trailer next to the fuel trailer as another one, just to lie about in case we need it. Not too sure. I don't want to think too far ahead because I don't even know what any other contracts are going to involve. We go this. It feels like the snow chain equivalent tires. These studded tires are better than what they were on the Royal BM17 that did struggle at speed. You felt like you just lost all grip with them. We'll pick up some fuel just because refuel from the off-road fuel carrier trailer. Yes to me. This guy, this trailer here is going to have to go back to the trailer store for a replacement at some point fairly soon I think. If you go in this entrance we can sneak out the back over there in the distance where my snow tracks are still sitting which is quite a sweat. I thought they'd have disappeared. The right, oh um, right, to get that guy out, I don't want to be too close, but I need to be able to get the crane and put him under that trailer. Are there any winch points? No, that's a shame because I'd have pulled the trailer away. Right, well maybe we'll just get the one cabin out and then we'll, we'll jig it about. Any anchors out? I don't think I need them, but we'll do it. And this is a wee bit 
Chitty, I suppose. Come with me, little cabin. There we go. Bring you around a wee bit, I think. Thought he was going to catch in the roof there. And you go. Oh, not quite sitting in. I think the roof's just in the way. Okay. I can, li I can live with that. Let's just drop that off. Restore the crane. What? Edge forward? Well, look at that. Absolutely perfectly packed. This it is now. Right, off we go. I hope there's nobody in that. Respect. They wouldn't thank me. I don't feel nervous about you shooting down here in automatic in the Kiki more so much. Okay, I was um, I was pushing the boundaries there. <laughs> I didn't expect that trailer to tip over and lose the camera. At least it landed the right way up. If there's somebody in there, they may have spilt their tea though. Okay. Lock the trailer. I think I locked it. Move closer to the crash barrier. Yeah, oops. Just pretend that didn't happen. The train. Come here, you. Nice try. This camera background. Need to spin them around again. Round you go. However, my point was that the Kikimor does handle the ice conditions way better. If I was coming down that hill in the Royal BM, that would have been a definite crash. A, okay, crane away. Storm crane. T. Not a problem. And I can drop off this container, pick up the wood and then get them straight in as well. So if I do this and drop off the cargo container. There we go. I didn't think it was going to go there. And then crane mode again. Give me your planks. Doesn't really matter so much. And you go. Very professional. Come on then. And you go. Right, crane away, unpack and repack, get rid of the planks, let's craft a cabin. Plenty of them, plenty of them, go, and we will pick up a cabin, not the wood.
So, we just need to take them back and drop them off. In fact, it's straight across the road. Right, let's get rid of these two guys, and then we'll call it an episode. And I, I'm going to say, other than the little crash a few minutes ago, you got to say that that was actually quite a success. Have I locked? I think I've already locked it. Right, here we go. I never unlocked it. Get how quick this thing is kicking more steers. And we go. And we go. Keep going. Keep going. Now we can unlock the trailer. See, how easy is that to reverse around the corner? Love it. Easiest way for this. That's a good question. Okay, well, I think I'm kind of in the middle there. Should manage to get get them off the right. Okay, let's go for it. Rain again. Not off? Nope, not off. Camera over, will be a bit easier to see. Underneath the roof, you are. You just need to see that register. Registering, oh no. Can't extend the crane any further. That's not registered, guys. That's not registered, oh no. I'm not in. Let's push it in a little bit further with the crane, see if that works. I'm going to put the crane right through that window. Oh no! That's a cabin, and it's in the area. Oh, there it goes, there it goes, there it goes. It just had to be completely in. I was getting worried there that it wasn't going to count. you get and get up against the side of the building and down off the trailer no nope, still on the trailer get off it's kind of working I just don't know if I'm gonna to have to pull these cabins out again and to get them back up to the other place in the future. Let go. We'll push it in. Getting dark, very dark. Time has ticked. And then you go. Yes! Happy with that. Right, train away. Restore the crane. What do you reckon, guys? Was that a good one or not? I am so happy with that. Uh, I'm going to now... I'll probably... Um, I'll take the Kiki more back up to the other one, ready for the next one, but we'll do it in the next episode, guys. The other thing I was just going to say... Let's put the engine off quickly. I'll get the Tataran, which I've left up the top of the hill. He's going back to the garage, so I'll do that in my own time. And the last part of this, once we get this third cabin down, is, is the... Not the Tatra Phoenix, but there's a the fuel trailer that's down here somewhere. In fact, it's not even marked. I can't click on it. It's right there. You can see my mouse spinning around. I'll need to get something with a low saddle up there, and I might just use the, the Royal BM that's still... Uh, so, uh, no, the Royal BM's down here. Uh, so I might detach the trailer that it's attached to and take the Royal BM for its probably final trip uh, up to get that trailer 
and then we'll find something else to use instead but that's where we're at guys it's not been too bad i hope you've enjoyed it thumbs up if you did enjoy it let me know any comments please any mod you want me to try just leave me a comment i will respond thank you so much for watching you'll see me again soon bye for now